Hello and welcome to another troubleshooting video from the Enphase training team. If you've ever experienced a communication disruption between the Gateway's comms kit and IQ system controller or IQ batteries, this video will provide you with the troubleshooting steps to take so that you can effectively troubleshoot the comms kit remotely using the installer portal. The communications kit enables Zigbee wireless communication between the IQ gateway, IQ system controller and IQ battery. If you ever see a status message of IQ system controller not reporting or IQ battery not reporting error in the summary section of the system dashboard, it may be a communications kit issue. To determine if this is the case, you'll need to verify the status using the installer portal. To start the troubleshooting, open the installer portal and navigate to the customer's site. Then click on the system dashboard link. From here, scroll down to the gateway section and verify that the gateway's last report is up to date. If the gateway's last report is not up to date, the IQ gateway may still be syncing data. You can check that by looking at the date caught up to to the right of the last report date and time. If the data is still catching up, wait at least an hour for the data to update and refresh the browser screen. Once you've confirmed that the gateway has been reporting and the data has caught up, scroll down to the IQ system controller and IQ battery section. Find the last report column at the far right of the screen. If the last report timestamp is reporting normally and up to date, this is not a communication kit issue. You'll want to contact customer support for further troubleshooting and resolution. If the IQ gateway is reporting normally, but the IQ system controller and IQ battery stop reporting at approximately the same time, Click the system diagnostics link near the top of the web page to start the process of power cycling the gateway. Use the drop down task box and select the reboot gateway option and then click submit. This will send a command to reboot the gateway to clear any issues with the comms kit. This process may take upwards of 15 minutes for the gateway to receive the reboot command and then reboot. After that time, recheck the last report timestamps on the devices again. It may take 15 to 20 minutes for the next reporting cycle, so give it some time for the report time to be updated. If the issue clears, great, you're all done. If the issue persists, a site visit will be required to continue troubleshooting. If you have to go to the site, make sure you bring a spare comms kit to save yourself a trip back to the office in the case where a replacement is needed. I'll link to some on-site troubleshooting for the comms kit in the show description. You've now learned how to do some basic remote troubleshooting of the comms kit using the installer portal. For on-site troubleshooting of the comms kit, make sure you look for the links in the show description. Thanks for watching another great training video from the Enphase training team.